drinking from their tub again. You have to when you're dealing with this lot. Let's see how you like drunk men pinching your ass and trying to lick you. Ugh! There were supposed to be others coming, right? Plans change. Apparently. Right. Look, <laughs> I should really, um, just... Another round? Make a yes. So, Aveline is great. Look, if this was all a plan for you to get closer to the captain, maybe you should just talk to her. I mean, how sad would it be if you needed a go-between? Have some backbone. I have to go. Thanks for the drinks. I... I couldn't do it. What did he say? He thinks I arranged this to get to you. I'm an idiot. If you were that far gone, you'd have hidden from the start. Would it have ended any worse? I need to talk to him. But I'm a mess unless I'm on patrol. I'm good at that. Killing high women doesn't exactly provide an intimate setting, though. And I'm tired of embarrassing myself. I think you're onto something there. But I can't fight and talk. I'll clear the way, and you can see if he's the one. You're too good at this. Is it any wonder you've all but taken Hightown? You clear the route up the wounded coast, and I... will think of something to say. this amazing hat shop in Lowtown. It's not always fun and games on the sea, though. Hello, Emmerich. Aveline says you need my help again. I've spent the past few years continuing my investigation into the murders of Nanette, Marin, and the other women. I believe I finally have a suspect. A man called Gascard Dupuy. Is this man in hiding? Am I to find him for you? No, I know where Dupuy is. I just can't get to him. When I became convinced of his guilt, I went to the city guard and raided his mansion and found nothing. They were forced to apologize, and I was reprimanded. Meredith forbade me from continuing my investigation. But she didn't say I couldn't seek outside help. Were you the only person investigating these murders? Yes, unfortunately. The Templar Order believes this is a matter for the City Guard. And the City Guard? Well, they rejected my evidence and dismissed the murders as isolated incidents. They don't care either. Women are dying out there, and no one's doing anything. What have you learned about Gascard Dupuis? He's a reclusive nobleman who's rarely seen outside his estate in Hightown. He knew two of the murdered women and made inquiries about the others. It cannot be a coincidence. 
It should be investigated at least. Thank you. I faced nothing but ridicule. To hear someone say that is... encouraging. What do you need me to do? I knew I could count on you. You'll need to go to Gascard Dupuis estate after nightfall. Please figure out what Dupuis is hiding. If he's innocent, find evidence to prove me wrong. It's just that simple. I hear the Kunari are kidnapping mages and doing peculiar things to them. Mark my words. We caught these apostates anyway. Good to see you. I like the doggy. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Ruff, 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 ruff. Hey, looks like they're having a nice chat. <laughs> Maybe Sandal picked up some Mabari speak from our time at the hero of Ferelden's camp. I've been wondering if I shouldn't remarry. I'm sure the last thing you need is your mother watching over your shoulder every time you come home. But perhaps there is still life once your children have outgrown you. You've been through a lot. You deserve any joy you can find. Thank you, love. No one could ever replace your father. But it is refreshing to think I could still be courted at this age.
think the guards raiding the estate met that particular reception. about escaped mages from Starkhaven. Hmm, blood magic. Someone's been naughty. That's strange. I haven't seen any sign of a woman's touch in this house. Whose clothes are these? I knew a man who dressed up in his wife's clothing. He had so much fun with it. Squeaky wheel gets the grease. You're not... you're not him. Shit, I... I know what this looks like, but I didn't hurt her. Do you take me for a fool? No, I, I didn't mean... I don't know why you're here, but there's a killer out there, and I think he's playing us both. Just... just let me explain. All right. We'll see if you can talk yourself out of this. Several years ago, my sister was murdered. The bastard's now in Kirkwall, killing again. The same way he killed my sister. It starts with a bouquet of white lilies. He sends them to each new victim. Alessa was going to be next. I took her, so he'd have to come to me. I was finally going to face my sister's killer, but then you showed up. He's lying! He hurt me! I've explained this. I need your blood to track you down. If he took you, it was for your protection. Let go of me! <sighs> She'll go straight to the city guard. They'll ruin everything. I could report you to the Templars for blood magic. Yes, I've used blood magic and lyrium to augment my powers. I'm not proud of what I've done, but I had to. He took my sister from me. 
Emmerich was certain you were the killer. Of course he was. But I was trying to find the killer just like him. Our paths crossed and he just assumed I was the murderer. You really did make yourself a target, though. Kidnapping people and all. I suppose that's fair. Who killed your sister? A powerful and experienced blood mage. I believe he uses the women for some ritual. His victims are attractive, healthy women with few social ties. Can't you just tell the city guard what you told me? Yes, can't you? Why? I don't want him arrested. This isn't about justice. I need to be the one to bleed him dry. Selfish little shit. How many have you risked by keeping this to yourself? I'm sorry, but it doesn't add up. I can't let you go. No. I've worked too hard. It can't end like this. do that. Thank <laughs> you. 
There's always pretenders out at night. Sometimes you have to correct them. Good coin in it, too. Speak to Anders. You can stop yelling. It's always me. Oh, good. I didn't want to talk to that other guy. You know, the stick in the mud. He can still hear you. Justice and I are one. Anyway, you wanted to talk to me? Not really. This I just wanted to make sure it was you. Aren't you Hawk? Emmerich left not long ago. He said you'd arrange to meet tonight. There was no such arrangement. But you sent him a message. I still have it with me. I didn't send this. You didn't? Strange. Well, I don't know. Emmerich's been acting strangely for months. It's probably just a misunderstanding. sent that thing here to kill him. Why would anyone... Oh, Maker. The murders. Emmerich was right. He was getting too close. He suspected a man named Gascard Dupuis. Did he do this? I killed Gascard. Then who sent the creature? Whoever did this is a dangerous apostate that Meredith will want found. I will see to it personally. 
My guardsmen will find Alessa, the woman who was with Gasgard. She might still be in danger. Thank you for your help in this matter. If you learn anything more, please come to me. Enchantment! No, Leandra. Leandra. What's wrong, Uncle? There you are. Where's your mother? Is she feeling all right? I'm sure she's all right. Why are you so upset? Your mother didn't show up for our weekly visit. Is she ill? She is here, isn't she? No, Gamlin. We haven't seen her all day. Where could she be? With her suitor, perhaps? Suitor? Leandra never mentioned a suitor. Well, those lilies arrived for her this morning. White lilies? I know something about that. Don't just leave me waiting. What is it? There's a killer in Kirkwall who sends his victims white lilies before he takes them. He's murdered several women already. No. You're wrong. Leandra is fine. Ignoring the facts doesn't change them. You don't know for sure that she's in trouble. Maybe... Maybe Leandra took another path to my house. I could have just missed her. I'm going back to Lowtown. You should help Gamlin look for your mother. You might be able to track her more easily once night falls and the streets empty out. All right. The boy and I will stay here in case she returns. Good to see you again, Messer. Another message came. Your hound is a mark of nobility in Ferelden, is he not? <coughs> I have heard that gaining a Mabari's loyalty is considered the ultimate proof of character there. That's kind of you to say. I think we make a good pair. A dog cares nothing for worldly power. The Maker would like to see us learn from them. Don't let it go to your head. Wait, wait. You said... I told you already. I saw her. Did you see where she went? What do I get for telling you? Here's a few silver. Buy yourself some food. And new shoes. <gasps> That's real silver, that is. I'm your man, through and through. Tell you everything I know. That lady was here. She looked like she was going to take the bridge to Hightown. But then a man came up to her. He stumbled and fell over right at her feet like he was dead. 
His hands were all bloody, like he'd been in a fight. The lady shook him, and I think he said, help. She got him to his feet, and he was wobbly. Uh, it, it was funny. Anyway, they left, and that's all I saw. What did the man look like? He was a man. He had hair and a nose. And nice clothes. But they were all stained from the blood. <sighs> I'll destroy anyone who touches one hair on her head. Yes, you, you go do that. You're good at that sort of thing. The man left some blood. Where he fell over. You could follow it. Why don't you do what the boy says? I'm going to go home in case Leandra shows up. This blood is fresh. There are lingering traces of... something. I think this was used for blood magic. If we hurry, there might be a trail we can follow. There's another. More blood. I'm on the right path. Where is he taking her? This place feels strange. Wrong. I wonder if we'll find more than just a sack of bones this time. Mother must be here somewhere. We need to look around. There. More blood. They are here somewhere. Like Mother! Alessa! this locket. It belongs to Mother. Does he...
is this? Oh, that's a pretty little shrine. The woman in the painting. She almost looks like mother. A shrine dedicated to a wife? A sister? I need to find her. Now! I was wondering when you'd show up. Leandra was so sure you'd come for her. Where is she? You will never understand my purpose. Your mother was chosen because she was special. And now, she is part of something... greater. Spare me the demented rambling. Where is she? She is here. She is waiting for you. I have done the impossible. I have touched the face of the Maker and lived. Do you know what the strongest force in the universe is? Love. I pieced her together from memory. I found her eyes, her skin, her delicate fingers. And, at last, her face. Oh, this beautiful face. I've searched far and wide to find you again, beloved. And no force on this earth will part us. Mother!
There's nothing I can do. His magic was keeping her alive. I knew you would come. I tried to find you. Shh. Don't fret, darling. That man would have kept me trapped in here. But now, I'm free. I get to see Bethany again. And your father. But you'll be here alone. I should have watched over you more closely. I should have... My little boy has become so strong. I love you. You've always made me so proud. Did you find her? I'm sorry, Uncle. She's gone. You were right about the flowers and everything. I... I can't believe she's gone. I was too late. So you're to blame. If you'd been quicker or stronger, you could have... She could be... <laughs> Why her? Why Leandra? Mother's gone. Will knowing why ease the pain? No, it won't. It will always seem senseless, won't it? Where's the one who did this to her? Did you find the person who killed Leandra? He's dead. It won't bring Leandra back, but I'll take comfort in knowing that. Carver needs to be told. I'll send a message to the Grey Wardens and hope it reaches him. Take care, my boy. I came as soon as I heard. You know where to find me if you want to talk about it. I understand if you don't. that.
enchantment. My lord. Were you listening to that guy in the hanged man last night? of your lips sword. <laughs> I'd buy the guy a drink, but I don't think he needs one. So this route's pretty quiet? Yes, and it's a real nice night for an evening. Um, <laughs> as you say, Captain. <laughs> yes, as I say. Maker, she's bad at this.
If it isn't done right, the blade can be too soft. Quenching the steel is a vital step that can make or break a sword. Right. A blade for every purpose. What do you think about blades? I'm sorry, Captain. I drifted off a bit. Right. Of course. Ugh. Painful. Well, Guardsman, good patrol. I think we're done, and I... Hawk, what a surprise. What are you doing here? Aveline. Hawk, don't. You tried, sort of. Time to open your eyes and see who really cares for you. Would someone please tell me what's going on? You're a daft couple of... Oh, take a hint and bend her over a basin, will you? Captain? Uh... I should get back to the barracks. I thought we were friends. I'd hoped we were more than that. Then why do this? I have to fix it. He'll file a complaint, ask for a transfer. You. You're coming to the barracks to explain why you put him on the spot. Double time, Hawk, or so help me. Are you the reinforcements? I thought the captain would send more. Who are you up against? Numbers. We're up against Evert's marauders. Evert's? Shit. Fell Orden's up there. And Victor Longdeath's handiwork you've already seen. We tried two sorties up the path, but it's trapped to oblivion. Now I'd be thankful just to get out of here alive. No fair, God dog! You've brought friends! Shut your mouth! <laughs> it's too dangerous for you and your men. Stay put. I'll take care of it. Look out for traps. 
Be careful. Evert's mortars are deadly. trying to do ruin my boots Watch your step. Uh, uh, I've got you now. They're all dead. I, I can't believe it. I'll tell Lieutenant Jalen at the keep what you've done. I'll make sure he rewards you. Men, we're heading home.
I found your patrol. They won't be coming back. You have stolen my duty, Basra. We were supplied for this task, but you have done this instead. Take what was meant for us. Do something about it. You have got to tell me what was in that box, Raveni. Which box? I've opened so many. Well, those two, but later. Right now, that Kunari relic. I'll make you a deal. I'll tell you what was in that box if you tell me how Bianca got her name. Fine, forget I asked. Evil woman. Did you misplace this? Lieutenant Harley said I should see you about a reward. That's it. Not even going to mention your scuffle with Evitt's marauders. Killing the whole lot of them. That does ring a bell. Hard to remember. I've killed so many things. I believe that. I do. There's one small rub, though. Their leader, Evitz, wasn't there, was he? No, they were led by Fel Orden. Evitz is the worst of the lot. He may try to get revenge one day. He can wait his turn. I won't lose any sleep over it. Maybe nothing will come of it. Thanks again for your help.
I don't care what else is going on. We haven't spoken about Leandra. How are you? My mother is dead. My heart's broken. I suppose I could say. At least you knew yours. But that seems more about me than you. I just have flashes of impossibly long hair. But my father... Would you like to hear one thing? You've never talked about him. My father trained me in all the skills he had been forced to give up. He spent everything to get me into Kaelin's service. Do you know what I remember? When he read to me, stupid things, dragons and heroes. He wouldn't turn a page until I reached over and took his hand. That big man made every step of the story my choice. I loved that. He died of the wasting in a Denerim ward. Those last weeks, I read to him. I had to take his hand to turn the pages, and I couldn't tell if he was too weak, or if it was the old game. He smiled at that, at his big girl. <sighs> I don't know why I'm telling you this. Drink? A glass for those we've lost. <sighs> All right, then. Benoit Dulac and Leandra Hawke. Don't let anyone tell you when to move on. Take their hand and say, my choice. That's all I have. I'll miss her too. Maker. Where is Donick? I have to... head this off before it goes to the Viscount. Maybe a formal apology. Something that shows the guards they can still trust me. You made a mess of it. But it's not the end of the world. How would you know? He wasn't blind to you. No, but you were. What are you talking about? Are you? <clears throat> My apologies, Sir Ahawk, but I need a moment with the captain. Guardsman Donick. Please. Well, happy? Guardsman Donick did not file a complaint. This was all incredibly stupid, and you made it wonderful. You took it further than I intended. I can't seem to hold you back. See? If I could say things like that, I wouldn't have needed you. I'm charming myself into obsolescence. You? There's no way I can ever repay you. I just... Mm -hmm. Thank you. Hey, can I ask you something? You know me better than anyone. There was never anything there, but... Did you ever wonder about you and I? I suppose it would be similar to how Wardens think of Blights. You're off to a bad start. It becomes their reason for living. But make her the carnage. Then the world is lucky I couldn't ask for a better friend. Shout when you need me, Hawk. I'll always be here for you. Just... knock first. It's a fine suit. The finest? Break it down. Distribute it. The Viscount requires parade armor for his inspections. Then stuff it and mount it where he can see it. I wear the uniform of the guard. 
His Excellency will not be pleased. His Excellency can mount it. Trouble, Hawk? Seems like you have enough. You don't know the half of it. And why don't you, by the way? Why aren't you tail deep in the problems of this city? Sure, you do good. But petition a title, take a job. The guard is always looking. That's a bit harsh, given my record. Maybe I'm just sick of being the first stop for complaints about people like you. People like me? Brands on about fortune hunters, mercenaries, disreputable professions without purpose. He's a clod, but sometimes... Well, it might be good if the city was a little more stable. Come on now. You really prefer the troublemakers stay home? All right. So maybe I don't want to be completely put out of business. And I don't even really mean you. But some people, they go on without regard and then act surprised when someone starts a circle. There are warning signs, you know. It's worth saying. Good luck getting in. I've been waiting all day. is a very pretty name. I'll tell her you said so, Daisy. She can't actually hear you, can she? Of course she can. What kind of question is that? Wait, are we talking about your crossbow or something else now? Well, by all means, let's go up to the angry wandering elves and say hello. Dalish crafting is second to none, I assure you. Keeper, you return to us, darling. Have you reconsidered this path at last? I... Go on. I'm with you. Thank you, Hawk. Keeper, I need the Arulin home, the ancient carving blade that Master Island keeps. I see. You wish to rebuild the Alluvian. You don't have to approve of it. I'm invoking Via Sulavanan. I'll do whatever task you wish. Well, I'm glad to know I can still disapprove. It is your right. I will give you a service to perform if you insist. 
We appreciate your help. This means a lot to Meryl. I'm glad that Meryl has a friend in you, child. I hope you will look after her. I can take care of myself, Keeper. Yes, Dalen. I know. Avar Terrell has taken the lives of three of our hunters. It lairs in a cavern in the mountainside. Seek it out, slay it. No one else must fall to its anger. Do this for us, and I will give you the Arulin home. May the Dread Wolf never catch your scent. must be near camp. The keeper would just warn the hunters away otherwise. sent them to recover elven artifacts from the Vartero before the camp had to move in again. So your keeper sent them to their deaths? No. Normally they let the Dalish come and go as we please. Something must have provoked it.
Why did this happen? Oh, Harshal, I am so sorry. I'll tell Inuria for you. Is someone there? It's safe. You can come out. Hello? Praise Andrast. I mean the creators. I thought I'd never get out of... Meryl? Anethera, Paul. Are you hurt? Stay back. What do you want from me? Paul, what's wrong? I'm here to help. Stay back! Don't touch me! Be still. You'll attract the Vartel's attention. No! Keep away from me, monster! Creators, help me! Someone, please! Paul, no! We have to catch him. Hurry! Paul, we're coming. Maybe it's not too late. Hawk, you can save him, can't you? I'm sorry, Meryl.
Why did you run? You shouldn't have run. <laughs> what did you do to scare this man to death? Creators. I don't know. There was nothing you could have done. He was more afraid of me than the Vatero. Paul wasn't like the others. He was city-born. Worldly. He ran away from the Denerum and found us. I thought if anyone would understand, he would. This... something is very wrong. I want to see the Keeper. Self kitten. Sometimes men do senseless things. Tread carefully, Letheline. May the trickster never find you in the beyond. We should give their clan amulets to the Keeper. Their families should know that they die bravely. The way everyone looked at me in the... What have they been saying about me? They must think I'm worse than the Blight. Thank <laughs> you. 
so dull. What brought this on? Your life has been so exciting. The adventures, the duels, the passionate love affairs. Compared to that, my life is a stale, dry biscuit. I wish I had your life. No, you don't want my life. Why? Because you have a good heart, and you deserve better.
The gauntlet is passed. Only a shape rate brings the light. Conversion begins. The great stores are open, shape rate. Exchange for what is needed. A rare thing. No sense in its head and no answers, but useful. The Varteral is dead. Master Rannus, I'll breathe easier knowing that we will lose no more people to it. We found these. I'll return them to their families. We lost Paul. In the cave, he... He fled at the sight of me. Straight into the Varteral. Many of the clan fear you will bring back the corruption. Or worse, from the mirror. And where did they get that idea? I am their keeper, Dalen. It was my duty to warn them. It's still not too late for you to return to us. Reconsider. There's no need for you to live alone. Must we go over this again? You'll never accept what I'm doing. The Eluvian is a trap. It cost us Tamlin. It led you to blood magic. Will you let it twist you further from who you really are? And who am I? We've done as you asked. Honor our bargain. Give me the Arulin home. Hawk. Because Meryl won't listen, I give this heirloom of my clan to you for safekeeping. Please, don't let her do this. Thank the creators. I thought maybe she'd go back on her word. What did the Keeper mean the mirror led you to blood magic? I... The shard I picked up was corrupted. I couldn't cleanse it without help. The Keeper refused. She said that it belonged to another time and should be left there. So I found a... Spirit. It gave me the power to purify the mirror through blood magic. I've never heard of blood magic purifying anything. There's nothing inherently evil about blood magic. It's magic, like any other. The power that contaminated the mirror was too strong to be driven out by normal means. If I had piles of lyrium lying about, I could have used that, but I didn't. I used what I had. I hope this helps you finish your work on the Alluvian. Thank you. I knew you would understand. Let's be away from here. The others are giving me the evil eye. If you walk the paths of Sundermount, 
Walk softly. Something out there hungers for the unwary. You've had many lovers, haven't you? Fewer than some think. But you never stay with them. No, why should I? But the act of lovemaking is so... intimate. I don't make love. What I do is only skin deep, kitten. Don't worry your pretty little head about it. I don't understand the question. If your people were going to make a magical whatever for talking to each other, why choose a mirror? Do elves spend a lot of time talking to their own reflections? I suppose the ancient elves would have felt silly talking to a wardrobe or an urn. This is yours, if I'm not mistaken. You found it? I can't believe I turned on you. With the demon in the Fade, I'm so sorry. Masaranas. I'll understand if you can't forgive me. You didn't betray me. The demon made you do it. I should have recognized I was being manipulated. I've been so careful in all my dealings with spirits until now. To make such an obvious mistake. It frightens me. It takes so little for a mage to fall. What do you do to protect yourself from demons? The Keeper taught me. In the Fade, you must believe nothing but yourself. Everything there is a lie, or a trick, or a trap. I knew not to trust, and I don't know why I did. What made you give in? It felt like every word the demon spoke reached out and pulled at my heart. I didn't want to believe it, but I just had to. You're already in a lot more danger than most mages. Because of the blood magic, I know. I'll be more guarded from now on. Thank the creators you were there. It won't happen again. I'll make sure of that. Hawk. I could never have faced the Keeper myself. I never imagined a human would help me restore Dalish history. No one ever understood. Not the Keeper, not my clan. Just you. I'm sensitive, handsome and supportive. What else could you possibly want? Nothing. Oh, not that I'm saying that I want you. I'll just stop talking now. You're the first real friend I've ever had. Maserana's Lethaline.
I've got something for you. Ooh. Did you get this from Master Island? Mythal, did I? Miss some important occasion? I'm so sorry, I'll make it up to you, I promise. There's no occasion, Meryl. I just thought you'd like it. I, I do like it. I'm sorry I'm making a mess of this. No one has ever given me a present before. Useful things. Tools or clothes. Because I needed them, not... just because. Maseranus. I'll find a good place for this. Something of yours, Sarah. An old, foolish thing to need. Thank you for saving Under me the trip. Tishan, sister. Sorry about your brother, Varric. Have you any other family? I have family like a rat has fleas, Daisy. Does that mean you have a lot of family? Or that they make you itch a lot? Both. your fault. You and that blighter, Varric Tethras. What did I do? You'll be the end of my boys. I don't even know who you are. Yevon, member in good standing of the Dwarven Merchants Guild. Not that it really matters to people like you. Whatever you think I did, I can fix it. My sons are lost in the deep roads because of stories about you, your sodding glory and treasure. Don't you dare blame him. We both know this was Iwan's doing. If you want to keep your job, shut your mouth, woman. Your boys are grown men. It was their own decision. What exactly were they trying to do? It may be my fault, Monsieur. I've told them all the stories about you. You're the only one who knows where they went. They were following the path of your expedition. Please help me find them. Don't let my boys die down there. I'll do everything in my power to bring your sons home. Thank you, Masser. Those boys are my life. They entered the deep roads using the same passage you did. Please find them. I will see you rewarded for your efforts. I'm sorry.
Are you one of Yevon's sons? Master Hawk? Please help me. My brother... Marin. Iwan locked him in with the Darkspawn. He sealed the door. Left me here and bolted for that passage. He's gone mad. All he cares about is that damned sword. Last time I was here, we picked this place clean. What's your brother looking for? Iwan called it the Heart Drinker. He says it's the masterwork of an ancient smith from this Taig. He bought a book from one of the Orzammar caravans. It had the location of the sword. Or at least to the golems who guard it. Another greedy dwarf. You think he took lessons from Bartrand? Maybe. But greed is hardly exclusive to dwarves. Maybe I should have seen this coming. Iwan has been obsessed with that thing. He wouldn't tell us about the sword, but I never imagined he'd leave us to rot. This is getting just a little too familiar, isn't it? Please. I don't want my brother to be eaten by those monsters. I'll do my best. Go back to your father, and I'll find you when I'm done. He's on the other side of that wall. You need to find a way to reach him. Please, come tell my father as soon as you have news. Stone, I thought I was done for. Wait, you. You're Master Hawk. I can't believe it's you. I had no idea the Deep Roads would be like this, that the Darkspawn would just be. everywhere. I've heard the stories, but. it's not the same as actually being down here. Any longer, and the Darkspawn would have had you. I was a fool to think we could do this by ourselves. I knew Iwin was up to something. He got so evasive every time I asked about the Blighted Sword. I still can't believe he betrayed us. Do you think he's alive? Let's get you out of here before the Darkspawn return. Of course. I can't thank you enough for coming when you did, Messer. You know, I never realized what the Dwarves in Orzammar are up against. They fight these monsters every day of their lives. I don't think I can sit by and let my people die while I enjoy the easy life of a merchant. Not anymore. Come find us when you return. I'm sure Father will want to thank you for saving me.
sobbing boy. Looks like the golem control rod's still intact, though. Shall we go find something to use it on? Oh, is it time to use the rod? have a prodigious collection of rocks. Smash the chest. Maybe. There's still something to sell. This mess. Pardon me. What was Lemerin like? I've never heard of a Dalish who's been there. 
I don't imagine your people travel between islands much. Not really, no. I wouldn't start waterproofing your wagons then. I don't think Lumerin is ready for the Dalish. What do you mean? Would we upset the people there? It's not the kind of place where one turns down a tumble. Even refuse a fortune teller and they'd run your lot out of town. Iwan, he's not with you. I had hoped... Father, I told you it would be too late. He tried to kill Marin and Emrys, and you're sad he didn't make it? His betrayal isn't lost on me, Dira. But he'll always be my son. You've given me back two of my boys, Messer. I'm in your debt. Please, take this as thanks. Did you ever run the wilds, boy? Kirkwall is no city for a breed used to open spaces. Nice as your estate is, it's not healthy for a Mabari to be cooped up. May I take him to the barracks time to time? He could help train my guards. I'm sure he'll enjoy that. Thanks for the offer. Good. I think it's time they face down a good old Mabari charge. How about it, boy? Wanna chew on some recruits? Again. How he makes these things, I'll never know. I've never seen another dwarf like him. Does this run in your family? Not at all, but Sandal isn't really my son. I found him in the deep roads when I left Orzammar for good. Raised him as my own now. Isn't that right, my boy? I like Bodan. He's always been this way. Always collecting things and enchanting them. Strange, I suppose. Have you ever thought of finding out more? Well, I did. I brought him to the Circle of Magi about a year after we got to the surface. They called him a savant. But then they started giving him the eye like they were going to keep him, so we left. Not going back to those vultures. Sandals happy as he is. Perhaps he'll be the first Dwarven mage. Wouldn't that be interesting? I don't know. The actual mages don't do enchanting, do they? Just the ones who had their magic taken away. Tranquil! Yes, them. Could I have some salamanders, please? Don't do it. That's where the boon comes from, I think. Making enchantments. It's very shiny. Your house is pretty. Quite a lovely estate you have here. Is it that right, sir?
Yes. Well, we'll get that replaced right away. Sorry about that. Something of yours, Sarah. Simple as that. Just a walk and drop. Amazing. Maybe I should find a nicer place. And that will, uh, stop the itch. Yes. Though I would stay away from women you meet in the port. Pirates tend to... dock in unsavory places. I heard that. Just use the salve if it comes back. Uh, excuse me. Things just keep getting worse. I had Templars practically on my doorstep the other night. The Templars are hunting you. Not me specifically. They were just checking the refugee camps. But it's not like this place is a secret. It's only a matter of time. We haven't talked much recently. How have you been? Good. I just love what Knight Commander Meredith's done with the place. The curfews. The midnight raids on mages' families. Everyone I know forced into hiding so they won't be made tranquil. Is that making it harder for you, with justice? In the Fade, there is no time. Emotion rules everything. Justice doesn't know how to sit idle until the right moment to strike. And I can't say I have any greater patience. I fear what my anger has made of my friend. You chose to merge with him. Only you can make it work. I am trying. I have not attacked the Templars openly. I've helped the mages here as best I can, but this impasse cannot last. One day, everyone in Kirk will, will have to choose a side. What are you doing? Putting out milk. I miss having a cat around, but I think the refugees have scared them all off, or maybe eaten them. You know, I've been meaning to thank you. Having someone like you making a name for yourself in Kirkwall, it's done a lot for mages. You're the kind of leader we need, to tell the world we won't be punished any longer for our maker-given gifts. I will not stand by while the Templars hunt and murder our people. I can't tell you how reassuring that is. Sometimes, you're the only reason I don't think I'm crazy. When you still believed in me after I almost killed that poor girl. I knew you meant it. You wouldn't say it just to make me feel better. You make me think I can really do this. Lead a revolution.
I didn't realize you were planning anything that big. No small change would address the injustice that mages face. The Chantry itself must be overturned. There will always be mages born in Thedas. But Templars are made by men. And they can be unmade. Why do none of my friends ever just want to be the best wallop player in Lowtown? <laughs> with the great hawk deign to associate with the best wallop player in Lowtown. Seriously, though. I couldn't do this without your support. I couldn't... hold on to this spirit of vengeance inside me. But I know you won't let me lose myself to him. I don't mean to sound critical, but have you considered a new line of work? Such as? Pretty much anything. I don't think Renegade Mage has a bright future, or any retirement plan. <laughs> 